Hey, what's up, guys? Nick Reed here doing a review on the Marvel Legends Girly Wings. That's what I'm calling this figure. Not that I don't like it, I really actually do like this. Haley, go away. No, not right now. Leave me alone. Anyways, um, but this, I'm gonna call this figure Girly Wings just because it gave it, they gave this beetle the wings from the female beetle just a couple waves ago. And nothing against that figure. I kind of, because they had the figure, because they had the female beetle, um, at the place I was at when I bought this, I was tempted to buy both of them just to kind of have both Beetles, like have them posed together. That be I thought that'd be kind of neat, even though I'm pretty sure they don't work together in the comics. But anyways, I haven't read that. I haven't read a lot of the newer stuff. Um, but anyways, but yeah, I was really excited when they announced this Beetle because this is my favorite version of Beetle, and I'm just, I was just really excited. Anyways, here, so let's get it do size comparisons. Here he is compared to. The Spider-Man, if he was standing up like straight, he'd be taller than Spider-Man. I just kind of have his feet spread out just a little bit. Here he's, that was the pizza Spider-Man, not the ultimate um, Spider-Man. Here he's compared to Kraven the Hunter, and I knocked him over. Dang it. Who's his knife? Yeah, anyways, so there he is compared to these two, these figures. Really nice. This beetle's a really nice figure. It's actually really cool looking here. He's, and here he is compared to the It's Not a Face Mom Ant Man. Girly Wings and It's Not a Face Mom Ant Man. <laughs> Comment down below what you think I should. Um, if I should make up any more funny nicknames for any more figures. Because um, I got quite a few. So just put different names down there for anything you think would be funny. Anyways. So. I'm just going to scoot this over a little bit. Turn that this way. I'm going to show off his like accessory thing that he comes with so these are like wing covers and I'll show, have pictures up of like what these look like so these just plug, plug into his back and they go like that and then they move out so you can like have have these wings unfurled and then these wings do just plug in and stuff and these are articulated so these like these wings move so you can have them just like kind of like that which is fine or you can have them kind of more like that which is also fun. I think both of these look really good. And the wings do flap out, which is neat. They will do that. And they do, they do will rotate. If my finger wasn't in the way, they would rotate all the way around. Anyways, but yeah, like the pain detail, like just the shininess of the armor. It's really cool. I think um, Shardmas Prime would call it, um, I knocked over, it's not a phase mom hit me. Eh, whatever. I think Ar Shardmas Prime calls it Marvelization, though. Kind of that shimmer to it. I think the shimmer is cool. He doesn't tend to like it too much. Um, I like it. I think I think whenever something's shiny, it looks nice. Who would shiny? I have SOS, shiny object syndrome, as my sixth grade teacher would call it. Um, anyways, let's get into his articulation, because it's actually really good. So, his head moves up that far, which is good. If he's a flying character, he needs to be able to look up good. Um, he looks down, not the... Not too bad, dude. I feel like he could look up, he could look down more if he's like flying, if he's like in a flying pose, kind of like that. He could, I think he should look down just a little bit more. His arms, a little stiff, look, move it out that far. They will, they will rotate all the way around. He has upper th bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and his wrist will swivel and flick. One thing I really, the only thing that bugs me about this figure is the one that I got has a really loose fist. So like, I can just, brrr. I was thinking about maybe trying to get another one, but there wasn't one. And then, the other f fist is fine, it's just this one. So he will bend down that far, which is actually really good, I didn't, I never tried to play with him, I play with that. There's, then he looks, he'll do that so he can look up even farther, which is good. Always good to have a figure that can look up really good at the head and at the app crunch. So, and his legs will move out that far and kick out that far. He has upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down that far, up that far, and he does have ankle pivot. Anyways, I'm gonna just vanilla pose him really quick. Ah, his ankle. My leg. Tony, add a sound effect right there. My leg. SpongeBob. <laughs> Anyways, 
So that does it for the review. I hope you enjoyed it and check out the photo gallery, the photo images at the end of this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. Uh.